Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Michael Wright. I am a global CEO here at the online business app. And I wanted to take a few minutes of my time to show you guys how I have been using Canva to create some incredible thumbnails and how you can use it too to help increase your productivity and your click through rate so people get to see that information that you're putting out there. So first and foremost, here's the home page on Canva. What I like to do is basically type in YouTube. thumbnail and it brings us up to a bunch of thumbnails what I'm going to do is I like to click on blank thumbnail and it's going to show some of the information that I was working on before let's go ahead and just click on this one and we're going to use this one right here to make our um, Canva tutorial right now so this already says how to make so I'm just going to change where this says online I'm just going to click on it once here let me move this out of the way and click on it again. It's going to highlight everything. It's going to allow me to uh, type in some changes. So I'm going to put it effective thumbnails with. I'm just going to write effective thumbnails. Let's try this. So once you type that in here, I'm going to go ahead and drag this in like this, this is going to go ahead and shorten it by holding this right here, we're going to allow it to kind of drag it all out to resize everything. So it's basically a click, hold and drag. Let me change this. I'm going to write this, click on it twice. It highlights it, hit backspace. Now, if you make a mistake like I did, I just hit hold control, hit Z. It will bring everything back. So I'm going to try this one more time. Double click, delete this, double click, delete that. Double click. I guess I'm going to delete it all with Canva. You don't have to be the best speller, huh? To do good in online business. You can be a horrible speller just like me and horrible with a computer and look, you can still get it done. Now over here where this says watch now, I think I'm going to change this. Um, I'm going to write increase your sales sounds good to me now when i click on this right here you can see increase your sales i'm going to pull this out right here by clicking and dragging and this is going to allow this to come out and then i'm going to click on what's behind it and highlight the box behind it so i can try to size this up to go to where it says increase your sales here we go drag it out like that and move it around everything is just kind of click and drag you click hold the button down and then you can kind of drag it around now i like to personalize my videos and i like to to put my own face on there so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on this video guy right here and i'm just going to hit delete so now it's a blank screen um in canva you have the ability uh, to go ahead and do something in the photo area. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of myself. Something absolutely crazy. I'm going to make a crazy face. Something that might make people look at it be like, what is going on? All right, at this point, I want to go ahead and take a picture of myself. Something that I can kind of fill that space right here on the side. So I'm going to grab my phone. I'm going to, going to snap a quick picture here and let's see how it comes out. All right. So we're going to turn on the phone here, snap a quick picture. Let's make a nice face. Maybe one that's kind of uh, eye catching. So don't be afraid to make some silly faces. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. The fastest way I have found being able to put this on here is to put it on my Google Drive. The file is being uploaded. I'm just going to open Google Drive here. I'm going to go to Recent. And it looks like it's already here. So here it is. I'm going to double click it so it opens up. I'm going to go ahead and download this file and reopen it up as a JPEG. Now I'm going to right click it. I'm going to hit save as 
and I'm just going to say, wow, face. There we go. Hit save. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this real quick. Shut out, close out Google Drive. Now in Canva, you'd be able to come over here, back to home. Up here, this is Design Spotlight, Photo and Video, down to Photo Editor. Click Start Editing for free. Now I want to grab that picture, upload it myself. I'm just going to type wow. W-O-W, -W, here we go. Here it is, the wow JPEG. Open it up. It loaded my face right over here. It's going to drag, click, hold, and drag. It's going to allow it to go ahead and get inside the box. I personally like to pull the image as large as possible to try to help show it as clear as possible. Now I'm going to go to Edit Image, and I'm going to use the Background Remover. I know you're excited to see that handsome mug. Look at that guy. No wonder why they're getting click throughs. I'm going to go over here to share. I'm just kidding. And then I'm going to scroll down right here. I'm going to hit download. Save downloaded settings. Transparent background. Yes, I would like a transparent background. Let me go ahead and hit download. As you can see, it's downloading right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Kind of see how it kind of cropped itself out. Now that I've opened it, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go ahead and hit save as. I'm going to go ahead and say, wow. And save it as a PNG. Close this real quick. Go back to home. Once you're in home and you go back to your projects, it's going to take you back to screens and other projects that you worked on. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go back to uploads. I'm going to click on the upload file. Let's see if I can get this file. Wow PNG. Open. Now you can see I'm loading right here. Should be able to click and drag. Bam. There it is, folks. Now we just want to go ahead and make it fill the space. So it makes sense by clicking and dragging. And once the box is highlighted, I like to use my arrows to kind of get it to where I want it to go. Now that this is here, I'm going to go up, click on this box again, where it says position. I go to position, I'm going to click backwards, and that's going to allow what was behind it to come through. I'm going to click off it. I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Give you a little bit more of a wow factor. Boom. Looks like I'm crowding it, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to move it so it looks a little bit, a little bit better. And I'm going to unclick it. And right there, now that we have it at this point, looks good enough. So what I'm going to do is go where it says, sh first of all, I'm going to go hit save over here. Click on file and go to save just in case something happens. I'm going to go to share and I'm going to hit download. I'm going to hit download right here. I'm just going to save it in the download settings as a PNG. Hit download. It's going to save the whole entire thumbnail. The whole thumbnail is here. Again, I'm going to have to open it back up. Then I'm going to have to right click, hit save as. I'm just going to say, usually I label it the title. This is how to make effective thumbnails with Canva. So I'm going to type that. And then beside that, I'm going to write thumbnail. 
So I like to make the video and the thumbnail the same. So now the video is saved in the thumbnail. Now all I have to do is exit out of here and that is it. That is how you make an effective thumbnail. Now when I am in YouTube, I'm gonna go to the YouTube studio real quick. YouTube.com, I'm gonna click over here. I'm gonna to go to the YouTube studio. I'm just gonna use a different video. I'm gonna to go to content. I'm gonna use the one I did last night. When you're in the YouTube studio, over here to the right, I'm gonna head and scroll down and all you're gonna to have to do is go ahead and click. Oh, I already did the thumbnail. Instead of it says create thumbnail, what this is, you can click on it and that's where you can load your thumbnail into your YouTube videos. And then once you click that, you'll be able to reference it from the file that you put it in. And then it will take a few minutes to upload. And then you too, my friends, can have an amazing thumbnail by using Canva that can help people click through and check out your, your video and your information. It's certainly gonna increase your productivity. It's gonna increase your affiliate marketing and ultimately it's gonna earn you more passive income by doing these kinds of things. So if you like any of my thumbnails or if you like this video, go ahead, give it a subscribe, comment below. I appreciate all the love. Until next time, I'm out. Peace y'all.